And see, that's the problem, bro. That's how I know you hate yourself because you're making, you're putting value on the amount of bitches that you fuck in a year. Right, exactly. Come on, you're only, you think you're making a point, but you're only exposing yourself even more. Like, that's what, that's what you niggas don't want. Like, you niggas that hate yourself, you try to use logic and it only exposes the hate of yourself even more. He hung up, he couldn't take it no more. I'm Keith, winner of the Bad Boy Membership Contest. I recently joined the Bad Boy Membership, but I wish I had done it a long time ago because the content is the real deal. It helps you become more secure, confident, and masculine, which will help you in all aspects of your life, but especially with women. So thank you for the prizes that I won, but the real thanks is for the powerful content Get on the Bad Boy Membership now. You won't regret it. Go to badboymembership.com. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com. Every interaction with another female teaches you something about yourself or exactly. about interacting with females. Exactly. That's why we were saying that in, in order to put these systems that we were talking about or that Lucario was talking about in place, mm -hmm. you still have to be at a certain level of the game. How do you get there? You still got to talk to these hoes. Exactly. You still got to gain the experience. You still got to... Shout out to um Cooper Sterling. He has a book called Seal the Deal. Mm -hmm. In the beginning of the book, he, he lets you know that this book is written with the assumption that you know how to already do certain things in the game. Right. This ain't this ain't no fucking you know elementary you know game one on one shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Right. So you gotta understand that you know a lot of you cats be like, oh, you know, fuck Lucario, fuck Miles because the game don't work. Nah, nah. The, the thing is, is that you don't know how to work the game because you're not even at the level that you need to be mm. to work the game. Exactly. You still gotta be at a certain level to work the fucking game. Mm hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why we tell you it's a numbers game. You got to put some work in. You got to get your feet wet. You got to get out there and talk. You got to get out there and get, you know, get rejected. You got to get out there and meet a chick that's a disrespectful bitch. Right. Like you got to even you got to just get used to charging bitches. Right. Right. You got to get used to, you know, dealing with 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 goofy chicks. And you know what I'm saying? It's, it's things you got to get used to. It's not you know, it's about it's about learning a skill. Shout out to um, K Zagan, right? His his whole thing is manhood is a skill set. Right. It's real out here, guys. It's real. That's facts. But let's go to let's go to some calls real quick, guys. Call the number is 516. We put out the banner 516 387 1224 is the call in number. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, make sure you hit that donate button at the top of the chat. Donation rules are in effect. Let's go to uh, 954, then 412. 954, what's popping? Who this? It's the hater. Yeah, I donated this time because y'all boys are some straight bullshit. <laughs> what? First of all, you are not the hater. The hater is named Star, and, and he would resent you for saying that, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah. that, shit, that, shit, that shit Miles just said about uh, what? Uh, when you assert yourself, women are going to respect that? That's bullshit. Some will. Some will. Majority, they're going to kick you to the curb because they always know that it's going to be another clown in line to bend to her dominance. Oh, okay. All right, nigga. We'll just go pay for pussy then because most of the bitches you fuck with going to reject you. It's all right. <laughs> so so let me ask you a question, Colin. Hold on, hold on. Do, you, do you think, hold on, do you think women are attracted to men they can dominate? Yes. How so? Not sexually, not, if you mean sexually, maybe not. Okay, so then, then long term wise, they, okay. So then, what's the point? So if so, so if a guy she meets that she can't dominate, do you think that she'll be attracted to that guy that she can't dominate? She might be attracted to him sexually, but a lot of times she's not gonna fuck with that guy. 
You see, you see, this is what I talked about. Guys don't fuck with game because they they think that most women don't like them. And right. because they think that most women don't like them, they come with that energy. So when you come with that energy in front of a female, more than likely she's not gonna like you because she feels your 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 simpish and weak defeatist energy, bro. She feels it, bro. Right. I could feel right. it over the line right now talking to you. Right. I like I don't like you, bro. <laughs> like I don't like like I'm not attracted to anything you have to say, your voice, nothing, bro. Like like go somewhere, bro. I'm speaking from experience. You're speaking from experience because you're only focused on the negative experience. My nigga, let me ask you a question on some real shit. You know, no no, no disrespect on some real, 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 real shit. You've never had a, a successful encounter with a female. Is that what you're telling me? No, I'm not saying that. So you have had successful encounters with female, yes? Yes. Okay, so why are you focused on all of the negative ones? Why not focus on the positive ones and 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 learn learn what you need to learn from the negative ones and then start increasing the probabilities of positive ones? I'm results oriented. And oh, that's why. Good. Well, hey, what have I'm a nice doing. have a nice day then. You you know, that's you know, <laughs> you know. If that's what you believe in then hey. Okay, so you here. If you're results oriented, so why aren't you doing the things to get you the results you want? Mm. I am doing the thing that that, uh, that gets me the results I want, and I can say game is not number one. What is it then? What is it? What are you doing? Bro, come on, man. We, you, I'm you, asking you. Gotta... Nigga, answer the fucking question. If you start dancing around, nigga, don't start dancing around, nigga, because you came on this fucking line hot. Right, right. right. You came on like you knew what the fuck you was talking about. Please don't start dancing around. If you're not using game, what the fuck are you using to get the results that you want? You got to use underhanded tactics, manipulation. Yes. Nigga, that's that game. Shit what works you harder than being honest. That shit was far harder than being honest. Bro, you just described game. You know that? It's weak game, but you describe game. <laughs> so what are you talking about? What I'm saying, okay, what I'm saying is that strategy works far more than that honesty route that you guys are preaching. That honesty route is going to have guys going home. Oh, okay, so basically, basically, hold on, basically, you just you just agreed with Miles. You just you just agreed and said that you think women don't like you because if you can't be honest. And let a chick know you want to hit it or you want to do some sexual with her, then you you basically think she don't really like you, so you got to do some underhanded shit to get to her, correct? I've tried the honesty route and it, it yields poor results. So yes, then I switched it up. Okay, Again, and I go with what works. Okay, so, so if, I mean, bitches, if bitches ain't real, if bitches ain't real, so so let me so basically what you're saying is is that it doesn't work for you to be honest with women because they're not going to like who you really are. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying it doesn't work that often. But So I know that's what I'm saying, but like in other words, what you're basically saying is, is that women don't like you. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so then, so then that's the issue, really. It's not that honesty doesn't work, it's just that women don't like you. Oh my goodness, bro. Huh? Huh? You still there? Okay, so women don't okay, so if women don't like me, that means I gotta switch something up, correct? Right. So that means that you're doing something to where you're being unattract your women find you or see you unattractive. You understand what I'm saying? They're not attracted to you. Well, hey, if I'm being myself and they don't find me attracted, I'm just being myself, correct? But are you really being yourself though? Because what I'm saying is this, yeah, is that, no, yeah. no, because yeah. you're, you know, you're saying, you said you're, you're lying to the chicks and you're being doing underhanded shit. So how are you being yeah. yourself? I'm lying now. I'm lying now. But what I'm saying is before when I was being myself. Okay. Yeah, well, we're here and there. So when, when, when were you, when were you, know, you being yourself? When, when did this happen? When was the last time you were being yourself? I mean, I, 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 I still do it sporadically. Shit, I was do, I was just doing it yesterday, and that shit, it, it got me nowhere. And I was like, it's what, what were you doing? What'd you do? Explain. Go into detail. Uh, okay. I was. Uh, I asked this chick. I asked the chick uh, what she was looking for, and then she was like, "Well, what are you looking for?" So I'm like, "Bro, you didn't answer my question." 
to you. Like, oh, well, you did. Well, hey, I'm not answering your question. You answer mine. So I left the bitch alone. What? So that's. But the- had I would have just been it. Huh? So wait. So what are you looking for, my brother? I mean, it depends on who the chick is. Might be. Might but, be no, no, no. Uh, stop. That's what. That's my point. No, 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 no. That's my point. My point is, you're not being yourself. You sitting there asking a the chick what she's looking for, dude. Why the fuck you give a fuck about what she's looking for? Hi, how you doing? You think I give a fuck about how you doing, bitch? <laughs> Yo. All I want you to motherfucking do is open your mouth and say something so I can hear how your voice sounds, so it can tell me how the fuck to okay. get at you. Bro, this is what we're saying. Yo. Yo, bro, bro, can you, look, let me ask you a question. <clears throat> Do you think women like you? But Rosebud still asked the bitch a question that he didn't give a fuck bruh, about. Bro, bro, answer, answer me this question. Answer me, and the fact that you didn't answer the question, I know my answer, but go ahead, but we still gonna try again. Do you think that women like you? Most, no, I'm going, I'm going off results. Most, no. Okay. All right. So you see, you see, I just, you just proved me right. This motherfucker believes that most women do not like him. Right. That's why he is averse to game. Period. That's it. Niggas, niggas who don't like them. If you believe that most women don't like you, that clearly means that you think that you, you don't like there's things that you don't like about yourself, my nigga. And that means that there's work that you have to do to fix that. You don't Mm -hmm. like you. Miles, most women. Fuck the women. Fuck the women, bro. The real problem is that you don't like you. That's mm. the real problem. Let's be honest. Mm. And Fact. that's the fucking shit I'm talking about. That's why this game shit is so fucking important. Because when you got game, the first thing you do is you make shit about yourself. When you make shit about yourself, there is no way you can't love yourself. Mm. I've been trying to tell y'all all this time. The truth is inside you. When it comes to being a man, it's about being that rock. It's about being stable. So first you're gonna have to find discipline within yourself. Do you have that type of discipline? Do you even have the heart to be ruthless? Women need leadership. It is in their nature to seek out leadership. You know, you can't do a 99 because all that's part of a man. You gotta do a 100. Apparently these women out here having sex with somebody. Apparently, they're getting pregnant with somebody. <laughs> Shoot, somebody getting some. You should look at something like hypergamy and allow it to inspire you to always be evolving, getting better, expanding, developing. There are things you know, the things you don't know. Then there are things you don't know you don't even know. There can be Ten of us in one room, and there's one question, and there's ten correct answers, all different. I'm okay. I'm gonna say I'm okay with who I am. No, no, no! I didn't say oh, to be okay with who you are. No, nigga, I said to love yourself to celebrate who you are, to be comfortable with who you are. Nigga said he's okay. He's a, I'm okay with who I am. Nigga, you hate yourself, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all, but listen, don't make- You gonna tell me, you gonna tell me more about myself than I am. Bro, nigga, you, I told bro. you. How many times I told you that your language exposes you? Right. How many right. times I'm okay with myself? Bro, no, let's, 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 let, okay, let's get straight to the facts. Nigga, right? nigga, let me answer this question right now. Do you love yourself? Yes or no? It takes this nigga way too long to answer a fucking question. You're, nigga, listen, go get some therapy, bro. Go get some therapy until you learn how to love your fucking self. Go get some therapy until you learn how to be comfortable with who you actually are and your identity. You understand? I don't want to fucking cuss you out, man. I really don't because you already hate yourself. Shout out to Steve the Dean. Why do you hate yourself, young man? <laughs> See, that's the thing. You you looking at it, you looking at it like, oh, I don't celebrate myself, so I hate myself. No, fuck all that. Fuck all different. that. I don't care what you have to say after this, bro. Nothing that you have matter of fact, Lucario could cut you off right now because nothing you have to say can contribute to this conversation because you don't love yourself. Period. I don't give a fuck what you have to say. If you hate yourself, there's no way you could talk to me. 
You can't talk to me because I'm super confident and I love myself to the point where I'm almost arrogant as a motherfucker. I'm the flyest nigga on the planet. You understand? Niggas like you can't talk to me. Mm. Niggas like you can't talk to me. Matter of fact, niggas like you make me uncomfortable. I have to leave. Mm. You understand? Because I'm afraid that if I just look at you, I'll break your heart. <laughs> I will break your fucking heart and make you feel like you just got rejected by a bad bitch. Nigga. <laughs> You feel me? I don't like niggas like you because you don't love yourself. You come on all these fucking, you come on Steve's line, you come on our line and try to talk shit. And the bottom line is you don't love yourself. Mm. We will never be able to communicate. That's why there's always a misunderstanding and an mm. argument when you come on our lines, bro. Because you're talking to niggas that love themselves while you hate yourself. Mm. We can't talk, we don't mix. Damn, too much, too much truth. Lucario, check this out. This nigga. Lucario, yeah, talk to Lucario, nigga. You can't talk to me, nigga. This nigga. Is, go, go ahead. This is the last you thing I'm gonna let you say because we man, got we man. got some more calls. But go ahead. One last man. thing. Come on, Miles, man. You getting on that Steve shit, man? You just you just something. Okay, Lucario, you only average smashing two girls a year. Miles only average smashing two girls a year. I mean, Lucario, you you ever smash your Bro, what are you, ta- what are you talking uh, about? Uh, what are you two? what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What I'm saying is, if my is only averaging smashing two girls a year, what, what the hell can he tell me? Hold on, Nigga. bro. What are you talking about? Average smashing two. Where, where do you get Dude. these stats from? Is there is there a website that <laughs> you're saying that we can find this shit? My, where, you, where you getting this? My, where you getting this information? Everybody know. We get this information. Everybody know Miles got a low body count. Everybody know Miles got a low body count. Mm, so right. Miles, if Miles, if, if all this technique and all this game is working, tell me why Miles is only smashing two girls per year. Because the bitches that I smash want to fuck me for longer. Right, exactly. Nigga. Uh, that's, that's, <laughs> the bitches that I smash don't, don't want one night stands with me. They want to be in my life consecutively. Right. Okay, they want to be in my life continually. Right. Okay, that's why my body counts low. Right. Okay, and if and see that's the problem, bro. That's how I know you hate yourself because you're making you're putting value on the amount of bitches that you fuck in a year. Right. Exactly. Come on, you're only you, you think you're making a point, but you're only exposing yourself even more. Like that's what that's what you niggas don't want. Like you niggas that hate yourself, you try to use logic, and it only exposes the hate of yourself even more. He hung up. He couldn't take it no more. He was. <laughs> Come on, man! I already told him. I already told him we can't talk. He should have been hung up. Are you damn nigga! <laughs> yo, he should have been hung up. Truthfully, <coughs> I can't talk. I can't, I can't. Yo, let me tell y'all something, bro. Oh. If y'all niggas don't love yourself, it's gonna be hard for y'all to to, to communicate with a nigga like me, bro. Right. I'm it's, telling y'all, bro. Because you know what it is. A lot of times you gotta understand something, man. Like. You know, because it's one thing for like chicks to be insecure and shit, but when dudes are insecure, nigga, when dudes are insecure, bro, that's dangerous. It's dangerous because they want to they want to start fighting and right. stupid ass shit. You understand what I'm saying? Right, because we're because men are the more aggressive and you know violent species, right? So when you got issues with yourself, like when you don't love yourself, you feel like you have nothing to lose. And when you have nothing to lose, you're willing to do anything to Mm. try to validate yourself. Exactly. And that's where the danger comes in. That's why you got these simp niggas. That's why we did that video the other other day about that nigga on World Star tomorrow. Yo, yo, man, please, man, leave my wife alone, man. Right, right. You you know what? I'm going to fucking kill you, nigga. I'm going to kill you, then I'm going to kill myself. Right. Because when you feel like you have nothing to lose, Mm-hmm. You're willing to do anything to feel validated, bro. Right, and that's dangerous. Mm-hmm. You understand that's these right. these guys like Elliot Rogers and and the, and the sad story from the other day. The reason why these guys go out and do these things and 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 shoot up, you know, these places and kill people and then kill themselves is because they think that at least at least the new story will validate my existence. Exactly. That's why they do those things, bro. Exactly. You don't want to deal with somebody like that. That's dangerous. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm I'm so sincere. Look, look, guys, I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not trying to because I, I'm really like I'm trying to be a little bit more um purposeful when I yell at niggas. Right. <laughs> but I seriously, seriously mean what I said. If you don't love yourself, mm. talk, go talk to somebody. 
Right. Go talk to a therapist. Go mm. talk to a psychologist. Go talk to somebody, a mm. mentor, someone, your family. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't love yourself, you can't even get on the bad boy membership. Facts. Facts. That's real talk. That's listen, real talk. listen, if you don't love yourself, the bad boy membership is no place for you. Mm hmm. That really? Mm. If you don't love yourself, go. You, you, you heard that we talked about there, there's a certain level that you got to be at before you can even implement game. Mm hmm. At the very least, you have to have a great love and respect for who you are. And if you don't have that, go talk to someone. Right. Get a therapist, get a mentor, get someone who can help you get in touch with the love that you need to have for yourself. I'm not joking and I'm not saying this shit just to be entertaining or just to like, you know, just to yell at niggas on some Miles Cunningham shit. No, this shit is real. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, a big part of the reason why a lot of niggas don't respect game and they think, oh, well, game takes too long to get pussy is because you think women are better than you. You right. think everybody's better than you because mm -hmm. it's not only the women you're looking at. You're looking at Chad and Tyrone and, oh, my God, Chad and Tyrone get so much pussy and I don't get none. And girls always be not feeling me and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right. And all of that has everything to do with how you see yourself. It has nothing to do with Chad, Tyrone or the bitches. Right. It's crazy, man. Woo! It's just this man. The game is so heavy today. The 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 microphones is on fire. The fucking phone lines is lighting up. All right, so let's go to uh, let's go to four one two, then seven two six, then six one seven. Go to badboymembership.com. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com. All right, shout out to Mr. Macario and Miles Cunningham, the bad boys at a dating game, and the badboymembership.com for these great prizes to help me tighten up my game. I have the Seiko watch, the Carolina Herrera bad boy cologne, and a $100 gift card for Target to tighten up my spot. So now I got my wrist right, I got my smell right, I'm gonna have my spot right. Now I got my mind right because of all that game I've been learning on the badboymembership.com. So I appreciate you guys, I appreciate the game that you guys lay down, and y'all stay up. Peace. What's going on? It's your boy, Miles Cunningham, and what I wanna talk about today is the Bad Boy Membership Contest. All you have to do to be eligible to win the Bad Boy Membership Contest is to be a Bad Boy member. See, what we realize is that when guys join the Bad Boy Membership, they make the transition from simp to player very quickly. And we're just trying to make that transition just a little bit easier. So here's what you get if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. So here's what you receive if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. A bottle of Bad Boy Cologne by Carolina Herrera, New York. A luxury designer timepiece and a hundred dollar gift card to increase your chances of winning share this post in your story tag three friends and subscribe to mr lucario or the miles cunningham youtube channel the link is in the bio and follow real mr lucario and miles in the game on instagram the winner will be announced at the first of the month good luck Every interaction with another female teaches you something about yourself or exactly. about interacting with females. Exactly. That's why we were saying that in, in order to put these systems that we were talking about or that Lucario was talking about in place, mm -hmm. you still have to be at a certain level of the game. How do you get there? You still got to talk to these hoes. Exactly. You still got to gain the experience. You still got to shout out to um Cooper Sterling. He has a book called Seal the Deal. Mm -hmm. In the beginning of the book, he, he lets you know that this book is written with the assumption that you know how to already do certain things in the game. Right. This ain't this ain't no fucking, you know, elementary 
you know, game one on one shit, bro. Mm hmm. Right. So you got to understand that, you know, a lot of you cats be like, oh, you know, fuck LaCorio, fuck Miles because the game don't work. Nah, nah the, the thing is, is that you don't know how to work the game because you're not even at the level that you need to be mm. to work the game. Exactly. You still got to be at a certain level to work the fucking game. Mm hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why we tell you it's a numbers game. You got to put some work in. You got to get your feet wet. You got to get out there and talk. You got to get out there and get, you know, get rejected. You got to get out there and meet a chick that's a disrespectful bitch. Right. Like you got to even you got to just get used to charging bitches. Right. Right. You got to get used to, you know, dealing with 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 goofy chicks. And you know, what I'm saying it's, it's things you got to get used to. It's not you know, it's about it's about learning a skill. Shout out to um K Zagan, right? His his whole thing is manhood is a skill set. Right. It's real out here, guys. It's real. That's facts. But let's go to let's go to some calls real quick, guys. The caller number is 516. Let me put up the banner. 516 387 1224 is the call in number. You feel what I'm saying? Uh make sure you hit that donate button at the top of the chat. Donation rules are in effect. Let's go to uh 954, then 412. 954. What's popping? Who this? It's the hater. Yeah, I donated this time because y'all boys are some straight bullshit. <laughs> what? First of all, you are not the hater. The hater is named Star, and, and he would resent you for saying that, but go ahead. <laughs> no. that, shit, that, shit, that shit Miles just said about uh, what? Uh, when you assert yourself, women going to respect that? That's bullshit. Some will some will. Majority, they're going to kick you to the curb because they always know that it's going to be another clown in line to bend to her dominance. Oh, okay. All right, nigga, we'll just go pay for pussy then because most of the bitches you fuck with going to reject you. It's all right. <laughs> so so let me ask you a question, Colin. Do you, do you think, hold on, do you think women are attracted to men they can dominate? Yes. How so? Not sexually. Not, if you mean sexually, maybe not. Okay, so then... then long-term wise, they... Okay, so then what's the point? So if, so, so if a guy she meets that she can't dominate, do you think that she'll be attracted to that guy that she can't dominate? She might be attracted to him sexually, but a lot of times she's not going to fuck with that guy. You see, you see, this is what I talked about. Guys don't fuck with game because they, they think that most women don't like them. And because right. they think that most women don't like them, they come with that energy. So when you come with that energy in front of a female, more than likely she's not going to like you because she feels your, your, your simpish and weak defeatist energy, bro. She feels it, bro. Right. I could feel right. it over the line right now talking to you. Right. I like, I don't like you, bro. <laughs> like I don't like like I'm not attracted to anything you have to say, your voice, nothing, bro. Like like go somewhere, bro. I'm speaking from experience. You're speaking from experience because you're only focused on the negative experience. My nigga, let me ask you a question on some real shit. You know, no no disrespect on some real, 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 real shit. You've never had a, a successful encounter with a female. Is that what you're telling me? No, I'm not saying that. So you have had successful encounters with female, yes? Yes. Okay, so why are you focused on all of the negative ones? Why not focus on the positive ones and 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 learn learn what you need to learn from the negative ones and then start increasing the probabilities of positive ones? I'm results oriented. And oh, that's why. Good. Well, hey, what have I'm a nice, have a nice day. Then you you know that's you know you know if that's what you believe in, then hey. Okay, so you here. If you're results oriented, so why aren't you doing the things to get you the results you want? Mm. I am doing the thing that that, uh, that gets me the results I want, and I can say game is not number one. What is it then? What is it? What are you doing? Bro, come on, man. We, you, I'm you asking gotta... you. Answer the fucking question. If you start <laughs> dancing around, nigga, don't start dancing around, nigga, because you came on this fucking line hot. <laughs> right, right? right. You came on like you knew what the fuck you was talking about. Please don't start dancing around. If you're not using game, what the fuck are you using to get the results that you want? You got to use underhanded tactics, manipulation. Yes. Nigga, that's that game. Shit what are you talking about? Being honest. That shit was far harder than being honest. Bro, you just described game. You know that? It's weak game, but you describe game. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> so what are you talking about? What I'm saying, okay, what I'm saying is that strategy works far more than that honesty route that you guys are preaching. That honesty route is going to have guys going home. Oh, okay, so basically, basically, hold on, basically, you just you just agreed with Miles. You just you just agreed and said that you think women don't like you because if you can't be honest and let a chick know you want to hit it or you want to do some sexual with her, then you you basically think she don't really like you. So you got to do some underhanded shit to get to her. Correct. I've tried the honesty route and it, it yields poor results. So, yes, then I switched it up. OK, Again, and I go with what works. OK, so, so bitches, I mean, if bitches ain't real. If bitches ain't real. So so I mean so basically what you're saying is is that it doesn't work for you to be honest with women because they're not going to like who you really are. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying it doesn't work that often. But so I know that's what I'm saying but like in other words what you're basically saying is is that women don't like you. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so then, so then that's the issue, really. It's not that honesty doesn't work. It's just that women don't like you. Oh, my goodness. Huh? Huh? You still there? Okay, so if women don't, okay, so if women don't like me, that means I got to switch something up, correct? Right, so that means that you're doing something to where you're being unattractive. Women find you or see you unattractive. You understand what I'm saying? They're not attracted to you. Well, hey, if I'm being myself and they don't find me attractive, I'm just being myself, correct? But are you really being yourself, though? Because what I'm saying is this, is yeah, that, no, yeah. no, because yeah. you're, you know, you're saying, you said you're, you're lying to the chicks and you're being doing underhanded shit, so how are you being yeah. yourself? I'm lying now. I'm lying now, but what I'm saying is before, when I was being myself, okay, yeah, well, we're here and there. So when, when, when were you, you, when were you know, being yourself? When? When did this happen? When was the last time you were being yourself? I mean, I, 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 I still do it sporadically. Shit, I was do, I was just doing it yesterday, and that shit, it, it got me nowhere. And I was like, it's what, what were you bitch. doing? What'd you do? Explain. Go into detail. Uh, okay. I was. Uh, I asked this chick. I asked the chick uh, what she was looking for, and then she was like, "Well, what are you looking for?" So I was like, "Bro, you didn't answer my question." She's like, "Oh, well, you didn't. Well, hey, I'm not answering your question. You answer mine." So I left the bitch alone. What? So that's but had I would have just been it, huh? So wait, so what are you looking for, my brother? I mean, depends on who the chick is. Might be. Might but be, no, no, uh, no. Stop. That's what. That's my point. No, 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 no. That's my point. My point is, you're not being yourself. You sitting there asking a the chick what she's looking for, dude. Why the fuck you give a fuck about what she's looking for? Hi, how you doing? You think I give a fuck about how you doing, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> All I want you to motherfucking do is open your mouth and say something so I can hear how your voice sound so it can tell me how the fuck to okay. get at you. Bro, that's what we're saying. Yo, yo bro, bro, can you, look, let me ask you a question. <clears throat> do you think women like you? But Rosebud still asked the bitch a question that he didn't give a fuck bruh, about. Bro, bro. Just answer, the, answer me this question. Answer me. And the fact that you didn't answer the question, I know my answer, but go ahead. But we still going to try again. Do you think that women like you? Most no, I'm going. I'm going off results. Most no. Okay, all right. So you see, you see, I just you just proved me right. This motherfucker believes that most women do not like him. Right. That's why he is averse to game. Period. That's it. Niggas, niggas who don't like them. If you believe that most women don't like you, that clearly means that you think that you you don't like. There's things that you don't like about yourself, my nigga, and that means that there's work that you have to do to fix that. You don't mm -hmm. like you, Miles. Most women. Fuck the women. Fuck the women, bro. The real problem is that you don't like you. That's the real problem. Let's be honest. And that's the fucking shit I'm talking about. That's why this game shit is so fucking important. Because when you got game, the first thing you do is you make shit about yourself. When you make shit about yourself, there is no way you can't love yourself. I've been trying to tell y'all all this time. The truth is inside you. I'm a genius. 
I'm gonna say I'm okay with who I am. No, no, no! I didn't say oh, to be okay with who you are. No, nigga, I said to love yourself, to celebrate who you are, to be comfortable with who you are. Nigga said he's okay. He's right. I'm okay with who I am. Nigga, you hate yourself, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all, but listen, don't make. So you gonna tell me? You gonna tell me more about myself than I am, bro? Nigga, you, I bro. told you how many times I told you that your language exposes you. Right. How many right. times I'm okay with myself? Bro, no, let's, 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 okay, let's get straight to the facts. Nigga, nigga, let me answer this question right now. Do you love yourself? Yes or no? It takes this nigga way too long to answer a fucking question. You're, nigga, listen. Go get some therapy, bro. Go get some therapy until you learn how to love your fucking self. Go get some therapy until you learn how to be comfortable with who you actually are and your identity. You understand? I don't want to fucking cuss you out, man. I really don't. Because you already hate yourself. Shout out to Steve the Dean. Why do you hate yourself, young man? You looking at it like, oh, I don't celebrate myself, so I hate myself. No, fuck all that. Fuck <laughs> all that. I don't care what you have to say after this, bro. Nothing that you have. Matter of fact, Lucario could cut you off right now because nothing you have to say can contribute to this conversation because you don't love yourself. Period. I don't give a fuck what you have to say. If you hate yourself, there's no way you could talk to me. You can't talk to me because I'm super confident and I love myself to the point where I'm almost arrogant as a motherfucker. I'm the flyest nigga on the planet. You understand? Niggas like you can't talk to me. Mm. Niggas like you can't talk to me. Matter of fact, niggas like you make me uncomfortable. I have to leave. You understand? Because I'm afraid that if I just look at you, I'll break your heart. <laughs> I will break your fucking heart and make you feel like you just got rejected by a bad bitch. Nigga. <laughs> you feel me?